Tip one of the day, walk out the door, start my truck. Oh, by the way, this is my commute. 88 feet. The preacher man says it's the end of time, and the dark man can't survive. The water's edge can't survive. The industry will survive. Second part of the morning. Make the coffee. Next step of the morning is, you guys are going to be getting here at 7.30, the first couple crews. So I am going to take this time to organize the calendar for the dock crew today. And the good news is, today and tomorrow, the dock removal crews are going to be on the same lake. So we'll be able to get what we got done today and then work on some for tomorrow as well to kind of lighten the load a little bit give you guys a little walkthrough of what I've got on my desk here. So I have a packing slip from some steel that we got delivered. 47,000 pounds of steel. Might want to hang on to that one. I'm also working on a permit. Permit drawing for the EGLE state of Michigan. Another permit drawing for the state of Michigan. A traffic ticket. Someone got pulled over for the for one of the windshields and the work trucks being cracked. I'm gonna have to take care of that one. And then yesterday, Gerald, Andrew, and I were organizing the seawall schedule, which is looking like that. I've got a little bit of everything on my desk right now. Now Tyler's here. Huh? I said Tyler's here. Hey, hi Tyler. What's up? What you doing? Working on some crates. This is about the time that the Water's Edge shop comes alive. 7.15, 7.30. Moving and shaking. Let's also start the skiddy time. Gotta let this old girl warm up. Pure metal. Pure metal. Metal on metal contact. Good for the road. <laughs> is Gary crabby? He is very crabby. Sometimes Gary's crabby in the morning. <laughs> I wonder if he needs more coffee. We're going to give Jerry a call now. Let him know the happenings of the day. I'm sure you're gonna say something. Hey, morning. Good morning. That dock that they were supposed to swap out yesterday in Heartland. They've got that back here, and we've got a Woodland Lake Day today and tomorrow. So first thing I'm going to have them do is, is Mike Harmon's finish that one off. Okay. It's going to be pushing it to get all those down. Okay. So. We'll see what the weather looks like. It's supposed to be decent. Okay. See while crews are off and running? See while crews are off this morning. You get off and running this morning. So one is a little bit short staff, so I might want to labor with them for the day give them an extra hand. Okay, sounds good. I'm going to head that way shortly. Alright, we'll see you. Alright, see ya. Okay. You're gonna be here in 45 minutes. Can you do it? Yeah. 
far out of square window. Uh, Jesus! This shit cracked me in the face. Get fun. that on film? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Good? Oh, God. That's Brendan, everybody. He's single. Hey, right, yep. It he wasn't. Find me at the B line. He's <laughs> single and he thinks his hair makes him look pretty. No. Alright, now it's about time we crack beer. <laughs> it's a little I've early, but I don't disagree. Huh? Never in your life have you had a no, beer? No, never, dude. Never. Whiskey? Never. I just don't think it would taste right. Later. Alright, so it is a little bit after 8, 8.05. Got both seawall crews kicked off, headed to their jobs. I'll be meeting one of those crews today because we're starting a new job. The other one is right in the midst of a job, so they don't need too much unless problems happen, which they do. Now I answer emails and work on permits and wait for problems to happen. So it's a good start to a day so far. Had my morning phone call with Garrick. Dogs are fed. Bandana is on. Check. Okay. Today, you guys get to check out the day in the life of a dock man. But first, the dogs gotta do their business. Mornings are starting to get a little cooler, so it's always fun getting this one started. Did you hear it get faster there? It's gonna be a good day. Right now, uh, it is October. 13th, which is what we call removal season in the dock world. Um, right now we have two crews out removing docks, um, two barges that are out there for the heavy lifting of the boat lifts, and then four men on each crew, hold on, it's going to get bumpy here, I live on a dirt road, four men on each crew to do all the handwork, and uh, there's no way around it. It is brutal, hard labor. Um, we lucked out this year because it is staying kind of warm compared to usual, but it doesn't make it for any lighter work, maybe just better working conditions. But anyways, we got two crews out pulling docks because it's that time of the year where everything needs to come out of the water for winter. And then we also have two seawall crews in the field right now pushing hard to get as many walls in before we get heavy frost come winter. Um, so there's a lot going on. This one's fun for Garrick and I and special to us because we get to show you what actually goes on in the day-to-day -day operations of a boat dock and lift and seawall company. Marine construction company, I think would be a broader term. Anybody that's in the industry knows this is a tough time of the year especially you uh, dock workers in the northern states Michigan Minnesota Wisconsin Canada Canada shout out to dock heroes I've been watching you guys on the social media been awesome sausage egg cheese taquito this thing's excellent it'll give you just a little bit of an idea how hard these guys work to make sure everything is put away properly for the winter and uh, ready to use next summer. So, glad you guys are watching. Let's do this. We have arrived at the office. I'm actually a little bit earlier than usual. We made it. Come along, let me show you what a day in the life it's all about.
So we can do as many as we want, but we have 18 to do over the next two days. So it's just kind of as hard as the guys want to work today. Okay, all right, I'll make sure I put it on the notes. Good morning, Water's Edge. This is Kim. How can I help you? Let me look it up. Just a moment, please. All right, I'm going to head up to the job site that Gary's on right now. Check things out out there. Have fun. Sounds good. I'll move panel wait for you. So you can see the excavator's pretty sunken in there where it's at, so we gotta go get our excavator mat so we don't sink in anymore. Worst problems could happen. ready for when they get back so they can start start hammering in steel so while we're out and we're doing both these jobs pretty close together I figured we stop and see what the other crews up to and how they're progressing on the wall that they're on they're probably a little over halfway done with it You guys all look beautiful. Are you gonna grow your hair out like everybody else? I was thinking about getting the mullet going again. I didn't work for you when I had the mullet and my hair was down here. The trashiest Joe Dirt mullet you've ever seen. It's beautiful. Ain't trashy, it's classy. Muddy. So it's going to be the wall, steel wall like normal, mm -hmm. and then these blocks are going to go on the top of it to cap it. Decorate. So it looks nice and pretty. Okay, I'm going to put it on. How are you working tennis shoes, boy? Hmm? I don't know how are you working tennis shoes. Well, there ain't a whole lot of traction, I'll tell you that. Yeah, it's very dangerous. I'm like blind. Can't see. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. She's coming. She's super muddy. Mm-hmm. The lake has decided to join us back here. Yeah. All right, here. All right, let me get a plant. Yep. Oh, this guy's got a fish. Got a 
bass or a pike? It's a pike. This is a baby pike. Yeah, you got a pike. No way. Yeah. Get All right, cool. Keep up the good work, guys. We're not back. How did the uh, seawall site does it go? Good. Cruiser running strong. No problem, Chad. Good. You didn't happen to check on either of the uh, dock removal crews, did you? No, I did not. Hope everything's going good for them. No news is good news, I guess. Yep. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. We spoke too soon. Guess who's calling? Is it Kyler? That's Kyler. Hmm. Yellow. Hey Jerry, so I think we got a little issue with the boat. Mm, what's it doing? I'm hitting the gas on the boat and uh, the boat's not really moving. I think uh, the prop might be a little bent up. Lower unit, Garrick, Garrick thinks it's the lower unit. Yeah, hard to say. I was just seeing if maybe we had a spare prop back at the shop or something you could run out to me real quick. Let us see what we have for parts before we head that direction and uh, I'll get back a hold of you. Alrighty, sounds good, we'll hang tight. All right, bye. All right, bye-bye. I'll go find the part. Thank you. Looks like it's me on this one. Garrick had to run out uh, with one of the seawall crews. Since we're already headed out to the field, I think I think we can swing into somewhere and grab the guy's lunch too. That'll be a nice little treat for him. Yep. Okay, keep your phone close by. I'll let you know when I'm getting close. Jets pizza. I feel like mob steel now. Pizza and a prop. Nice combo. Box Garrett gave me with this. Yep. Is that for a hub or something? Yes. Okay, let me go grab it. Be right back. Keys out of the ignition so the prop doesn't turn into a meat grinder. We've had that happen before it killed an employee. No, we didn't actually. But you can see that happening. the last little bit. Just right. gotta tighten it a little bit. Make sure she doesn't want to slide off. Yeah. Now that she is tight. Did we find a flathead screwdriver? And then they got these little metal clips in here that we gotta bend back so it prevents the nut from unraveling. That is all there is to it. Okay. Problem solved. Alright. Take up that hoist. Going straight forward. Yep. Nick, I'm gonna get underneath that one right there.
Thank you very much. Right now, we are gonna head back to the office, let the crews do their thing. I need to answer some emails, and I'm sure Kim has quite a few phone calls for me to return. That's the plan. So I'm out here on Thompson Lane with Gary and Paige. We're short staff, so I had to come out here and hump these steel panels around. So we're getting her done. Better to be in the office. six packs so I got us a four pack. Uh, is it even five o'clock yet? Yeah. Beer me. Not a bad day. We've had work. Yeah, let's finish her sure. off. Here. Tune in next time to see where the Dockmen are headed next. Oh. <laughs>